Hi guys, this is Mr. Mark. Today I'm going to show you how to create a le lesson plan with Atlas Rubicon. As you can see here, I'm already on the main page that I that opens up when I go to my Atlas Rubicon. I'm going to look at uh, Computer Science Grade 6. And when I open it up, it shows me my unit plans for, for how I got my lesson set up. And it has the unit right over here. And we've all seen the unit before. Starts out with stage one desired results and it goes into everything that's supposed to be there, stage two and stage three. Now in the beginning, when you start your unit out, you pick all the standards that you're going to be using in that unit. And those standards will appear here. So when you're ready to make a lesson plan, you go over to the tab that says lesson planner. And then you add a new lesson. And you give it the name of the lesson. So this lesson is going to be research. Digital topics. And the course is computer science six, and the unit and the duration will be uh, probably about uh, two weeks, three, let's give it three weeks. And there's my duration. And when I'm happy with all my initial data here, I click save. Now my standards, uh, when you look here, you got this, this lesson here. And you got add new lesson, show unit, navigate to. Um, really don't need those there. But the one thing to notice though, is over here on the right side of the page, we have the view mode and you have the edit mode. And right now, because it's highlighted in blue, we are in the edit mode so uh, there's our t there's our title and uh, here is our duration which we've already chosen now let's add our standards which standards are we going to use and we'll pick some standards I'm just going to arbitrarily choose a couple standards that apply to this which don't really apply but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes only and when you save it your standards automatically go into your lesson plan and then uh, we have the details uh, of the lesson plan itself. Now I'm using a template that I created and I have two of them here. One of them's lesson plan template and the other is a commonsense.org template. So the one I'm going to use is the lesson plan template. And if I want to uh, look at it, I'll click on the pencil and I'll see, okay, there's my template and I click, okay, I'm happy with that. And th there it is. There's, there's my, uh, lesson plan that I'm looking at, click it, and then I go into the lesson. Once I'm happy with the template that I want to use, and I say, okay, that's the one, I'll click insert. Once you click insert, that lesson plan template is automatically inserted into uh, your, your lesson. So first thing I'm going to do is just give it a title. Research digital literary topics. And then I'm going to give it an introduction. And I'm going to pre-fill this out and come back to it so it'll speed up the class. Now my lesson is complete. You can see it here. It's all filled out according to the template that I'm using, which the template, by the way, I created myself. You can create a template any way you want to. Uh, once you're satisfied with it, you uh, put it in the view mode. Once you're in the view mode, you have some different actions that you can do. Uh, you can submit it for review, copy the lesson, print to a PDF, share to Google Classroom, or move to the recycle bin. So when we go back to look at my lessons for this topic, we'll see that uh, research digital literacy topics, it shows that their lessons are here and it shows uh, when it's gonna happen and when it's gonna end. And if I go back again to uh, this part right here, you can see that I now have seven lessons in my unit and they start on this date and they end on this day. Okay, so that is about it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm Mr. Mark, have a great day, bye-bye.